Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a four digit number and ones and what we mean by ones is a one digit number so a four digit number and a one digit number using the vertical format. Okay let's begin with our first example What is 5,380 minus 5? Let's put a nice big equal sign here. So 5,380 minus 5. Now I'm going to label the columns. You don't have to. But it'll help to explain what we're doing. We've got units, tens, hundreds and thousands. Okay, we are ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. And as always, we start on the right hand side first. Now you know the routine by now. Units 0 minus 5 is something we cannot do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the tens from here. Now watch how we do this. We're going to cross out number 8 8 minus 1 is 7, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move it across to the units column. So the units column has now become 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5. And we know this from our number bonds. 10 minus 5 is 5. Let's write that down. Okay, now we're going to do the tens. For the tens, we've got 7, it's not 8 anymore, we crossed out 8, it is 7 minus, well there's nothing here, 7 minus 0 is 7. The hundreds column, we've got 3 minus 0, the answer is 3. And lastly, we've got the thousands column, we've got 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Therefore, the answer is 5,300 and 75. That's nice and simple, wasn't it? Okay, let's move on to our second example. This time we've got 7,500. 7,500 minus 6. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. I'm going to label the columns again. Units tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay, we're ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. And as always, we start on the right-hand side first. And we have, s in fact, let's show the workings here again. We've got 0 minus 6. Now again, that's something we cannot do. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a 10 from the column to its left. But hold on, that is also zero. So we cannot do this. We're going to have to go to the column on that one's left. So in other words, we're now moving to the hundreds column. How many hundreds do we have? We've got five. So let's take one of the hundreds from here. Now just follow this very closely. I'm going to cross out the five. Okay, five minus one is four. Okay, I hope you can see that. That's four. Now the one we have taken from there, we're going to move to the tens column. So the tens has now become ten. Next, I'm going to cross out the ten. And that's going to become a nine. Okay, ten minus one is nine. And the one that I have taken from the ten, I'm going to move across to the units. Okay, now follow this step. We took one from the hundreds, so therefore the four became sorry, the five became a four, and we moved one across. So the tens became ten. We crossed out the ten. Ten minus one is nine, and we moved one across over here. So now the units has column has become ten minus six. Ten minus six. Well the answer is four. So let's write that down. Now we're on to the tens column. How many tens do we have? 
we've got nine tens. Nine minus zero, the answer is nine. How about the hundreds? Well, the hundreds we've got is four hundreds, not five. We've got four hundreds minus zero, the answer is four. And lastly, we've got the thousands. Seven thousands minus zero, the answer is seven. Therefore, 7,500 minus 6 equals 7,494. It looks a little bit messy the way we've worked through this, but this is the correct and the best method. Okay, and with a bit of practice, you'll be able to do this very quickly. Okay, we're going to work on one which is even more trickier, but I assure you we'll work through it. This time we've got the number 2,000, okay? 2,000 minus 8. Now, if you've followed all the principles in this tutorial, you'll know exactly what to do for this, for this question. Let's label the columns. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to do the subtraction. As always, we start on the right-hand side first. Let's show the workings. 0 minus 8. Now that's something we cannot do. So what we're going to do is, we have to take 1 from the tens. But that is 0, so we cannot do that. Let's move to the next column, the hundreds column. Well, that's also 0, so we cannot take 1 from there. How about the thousands column? Well, we have two thousands. So I'm just going to change colors. We're going to cross out the two. Two minus one is one. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to move to the hundreds column. Okay? So the hundreds has now become ten. There are ten hundreds. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to cross out the ten 10 minus 1 is 9, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move to the tens column. So there are now 10 tens. I'm going to just change colors again. Now we're going to cross out the 10 tens. In red, we've crossed the 10 out. 10 minus 1 is 9, and the 1 we have taken from here, we have moved across moved it across to the units column. Now this was our objective, so that we could do the units column. And if we look at the workings, the units column is no longer 0 minus 8, it is 10 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. So the hard work has been done. Now it's a very simple part. Now the tens column, we've got 9 tens. 9 minus 0 is 9. How about the hundreds column? We've got eight, sorry, we've got nine hundreds. Nine minus zero is nine. And lastly, the thousands column. We've got one thousand. One thousand minus zero is one. And there we have it. Two thousand minus eight equals one thousand nine hundred and ninety-two. It's the same principle no matter how many digits there are. So that is subtraction of a four-digit number and ones, a one-digit number, using the vertical format.